Okay, there it is. Okay, I've been covering the government's new way to uh, help authorities uh, identify domestic terrorists. A new report put together by the Missouri Information Analysis Center warns that militia members most commonly associate with third-party political groups. There's been an update today. The Missouri Department of uh, Public Safety has issued a letter just moments ago before we went on air saying the report should have, quote, made no reference to supporters of Ron Paul, Bob Barr, Chuck Baldwin, or any other third party, political, uh, uh, political organization, or any other candidate. They're going to edit the report, you know, deleting these references, but I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to make a difference at this point. We have Ron Paul uh, on with us now, a dangerous, dangerous man. Hello, Congressman Paul. How are you? Hello there. Have, Good have to you, be with you are you now, or have you ever been a member of the Libertarian Party? Uh oh, uh, I have to admit, yes, okay, I was. Well, is that, get, but the good thing is, trouble? well, the good thing is, you you don't have a Ron Paul bumper sticker on the back of your car, do you? Yeah, I have one of those too, at home at least. All right, we're tracing <laughs> so, the. Oh well, wait a minute. Yeah, we know exactly where you are. Just. Hang out and talk with me for a few more minutes, my friend. Um, let, me, um, let me ask you this. Um, we looked up today, uh, and we couldn't figure out why Missouri was putting this whole report together, because nobody's been killed in Missouri by a militia member. There was one that I think, where did we find it? In Michigan? And it was an alleged uh, uh, militia member. Yet ELF has done unbelievable damage. 2,000 crimes, 2,000 crimes since 1979, and over $110 million in damage. But nobody seems to be looking at radicalized terror groups like ELF. Why is that? Well, I guess they're in charge and we're, we're not. But sometimes I think, you know, when they attack anybody outside the mainstream, means that if, they, if, if, if our conclusion is correct that both major parties are about one party, then they want no opposition whatsoever. But those who are in charge of this uh, must have liberal leanings if they never address any liberal groups that commit violence. So uh, it's a pretty good question, a pretty well, good point. Uh, hopefully it'll wake up more Americans to what's going on. I mean, we called the FBI. The FBI has uh, four ELF members on their most wanted list. Four. But there's not a single person from a militia. Is this, uh, Congressman Paul, do you believe this is some sort of a, 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 a setup? Uh, I mean, why, why all of a sudden the interest in these militias? Well, it, it may be a backhanded compliment because a lot of us have worked real hard to tra change our government. We address the subject of sound money and foreign policy, limited government, and you know, we even mentioned the Constitution. And if you have too many people believing that way, we challenge the status quo. So I think if they see us as a threat, they may come out with these tactics to try to demonize us. So uh, let's look at it as a more positive thing. And interestingly okay. enough, you know, we're, we're having a rally out there in St. Louis, Missouri, coming up here this weekend. Maybe, maybe it had something to do with that. Maybe they wanted to discredit what we were trying to do well, in St. Louis. There, there were, there were 5,000 people uh, in Orlando, Florida. There was a big rally, I think, in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, with a couple of thousand people there. I mean, there is something going on, and it's not being organized. I I mean, I, I want to have the, the uh, people that organized the Orlando rally on, maybe on tomorrow. They're four moms. They're four mothers. They're just like, I, I can't take it anymore. I, will, I have to take a break. But when I come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about what is it that the average person can do that could actually wake Washington up? Is there anything that will wake these clowns up? Coming up.